Hello everyone. Welcome to our YouTube channel VKR Soft. In this video, we are going to discuss about software defined vehicle. This is one of the most hottest topic in the current automotive industry. That's why I have mentioned in this slide as the future of automotive software. Do you know how your car today is more like a smartphone on wheels? That's what we are going to discuss in this video. First, we can start with what is an SDV. An SDV is a vehicle where most features and functions are controlled, updated and enhanced through software, not just hardware. Like how smartphones keep getting updates and new features after purchase. In the future, vehicle is also going to be the same. After we purchase the vehicle, we will receive the continuous updates and new features. So the core idea of SDV is vehicle is future proof and continuously evolving. Now currently something will come in your mind like why SDV is the future of mobility. The first important thing is continuous updates. The next one is customization and cost and revenue model. So OEMs earn from subscriptions and safety. This will come up with a predictive maintenance and remote bug fixes and autonomy and ADAS. So they will come up with higher software control for level 2, 3 or 4 driving. So here the very important thing is over the year updates. Now we are going to compare SDV with our traditional vehicles. So you can just think about it. Our traditional vehicle is a hardware driven but SDV is a software driven and in traditional vehicle we will have a fixed features but software defined vehicle will have a continuous upgrades and traditional vehicle is more towards ECU centric but software defined vehicle is it's centralized or zonal computing and traditional vehicle is service center visit. But software vehicle is going to be remote diagnostics. So the old vehicles are hardware defined. So what you buy is what you get for life. But SDVs are software defined. Cars keep evolving just like smartphones. So this particular shift moves the automotive industry from being a product centric to service centric. Product centric is nothing about a car manufacturing and service centric is, centric is nothing about mobility services or digital ecosystems. So what all are the SDV cars or OEMs are working on SDV right now? First one is Tesla. So they have a Model 3 or Model Y. Like this they have a Mini. So they have a strong over the air updates and they are playing a major role in the SDV. And Volvo is coming up with a model called EX30. So they are also saying that fully software defined and over the air updates they are also supporting. And BYD. Seagull or Densa, these all are the models currently and other models also they are working on SDV. So they use God's Eye Driver Assist and centralized software platform for SDV. And Mercedes-Benz is coming up with a model called S-Class, W223 and newer MB.OS model as well. So their SDV key feature is zonal computing, over the air updates and advanced driver assistance. And Hyundai Motor Group is, they are focusing on rightly right now in the SDV and the newer EVs and newer and upcoming models, they are committed to making all new models software defined, based on software defined vehicle. And these are some list. There will be other OEMs also currently start to focus on SDV. So what is the key technologies is enabling SDV. Here also I have mentioned some. The main important thing is autos are classic and adaptive. And service oriented architecture. And we need a centralized compute units. And we need a middleware that means some IP or DDS. And autos and hypervisors. Very important thing is over the air update system. Since we are going to deal with the cloud and all those things. We need a strong cyber security and safety models. What is the key characteristics of SDV? So centralized E bar E architecture is playing a major role here because instead of domain, so now we are coming up with the domain zonal controllers instead of 100 plus ECUs and over the air updates like smartphones and cloud connectivity. So vehicle to cloud integration because we are going to send all the data whichever we are going to capture in vehicle that's we are going to send it to cloud. So vehicle to cloud integration is very important here and service oriented architecture and separation of hardware and software. This is also one of the key characteristics of software defined vehicle. So E bar E architecture. How the electrical and electronic architecture has evolved from traditional ECU based design to centralized or software driven architecture. 
First one is traditional architecture distributed E bar E architecture. So each function has a dedicated ECU like ABS ECU, airbag ECU, engine ECU. So the communication will happen via CAN LIN flex ray. So result here it is 70 to 150 ECUs in the premium cars. So that is becoming complex, high cost and harder integration. So the limitation here is functions are hardware bound mainly. The next one is domain based architecture. Here we started to grouping ECU into domains. Example powertrain, body, ADAS, infotainment and here domain controllers introduced. So still here we have a multiple ECUs but we reduce the complexity compared than distributed E bar E architecture. For that we move to the modern E bar E architecture is called zonal E bar E architecture. So here it is a like zonal controllers instead of ECUs are scattered everywhere each zone front, rear, left, right is a zonal ECU and we will have a HPC high performance computer runs multiple software applications like ADAS, infotainment and connectivity and mainly as we discussed in our previous slides we started to use a service oriented architecture here. So functions are software services not tied to specific hardware that service oriented architecture and high speed ethernet is the backbone here so here we are replacing can lin for major data heavy communication and very important thing here is cloud integration because for over the year updates and predictive maintenance and AA based services we need a cloud integration that's what exactly about a E bar E architecture. Just keep one thing in your mind, old cars, many ECUs, that is hardware defined. SDV, centralized computing, the zonal ECU, the software services. And what are the SDV technology stack is coming in the picture as we discuss now. The one is hardware layer which is handling sensors, actuators and your high performance computing platforms. Another one is middleware or OS. So here we are coming up with the AutoSAR adaptive and since it is AutoSAR adaptive we started to follow the POSIX standard and we have hypervisors and middleware for communication. In the application layer we start to place ADAS, infotainment or energy management and connected services. Very important thing here is cloud and edge. That is one of the technology stack. So digital twins or AML in the cloud or vehicle fleet analytics. So these all are the STV technology stack. So whatever I have mentioned there, here I have mentioned in a very detailed way. So we need a cloud platform for OTA or AA models and we need an app layer for infotainment, ADAS, chassis, powertrain. Then we will have a middleware and service communication for some IP or DDS or IPC and protocol stacks. And we'll have a OS that's with hypervisor or virtualization layer. Here we'll come up with a Linux or QNX, AutoSAR OS, RTOS and containers. And next one is a hardware abstraction layer where we will play with the M call or IO drivers, sensor actuator interfaces and finally we will go with the physical hardware. So what are the challenges we have in implementing SDVs? The first important one is so moving to the zonal architecture. So moving from traditional easy based architecture to zonal or centralized software driven system is a bit complex. And another one is cyber security risk. Since we are going to send a lot of data and software reliance increases, so the risk of hacking, data privacy, these all are also one of the biggest challenge in the SDV. And the cost of ECU and high performance computer, computer things are also one of the important challenges here. And next one is standardization. So thing is AutoSAR, service oriented architecture and OEM specific OS is also coming in the picture now like MB.OS or VW.OS. These all are also one of the important challenges to implementing in SDV. So what are the key trends in the software defined vehicle? The first important one is over the air. The next is AAML for personalized user experiences. And since we need to do the vehicle to cloud integration, so cloud based platforms for data management and analytics, that is also one of the key trend. And another one is on cyber security measure to protect vehicle software and data integrity. And expansion of vehicle to everything like uh, V2I or V2P and V2V. These all are the next key trends in the software defined vehicle. So what is the future outlook of SDV? Vehicle as smartphones on wheels as we discussed now. And AAML, so AA driven personalization. 
and cloud native vehicle software development so and stronger oem plus supplier collaboration and impact on jobs because software engineers becoming more critical in automotive because of sdv now and we are going to involve general it concepts also here like android and sending a data to cloud so you need to know about uh, HTTPS protocol get uh, post related json queries related so all general it concepts are coming inside here so what is the future opportunities also in sdv so for engineers demand for software developers architects and testers for oems that this is bringing a new business model like subscription model or data monetization model and for customers cars improve over time like your phone so these are the future opportunities in sdv and future outlook of sdv as well so what is the conclusive topic here in the future cars will be defined more by their software than by their engines so if you want to grow in the automotive industry sdv is the place to be and another important thing is sdv is the future we know that but vehicles are no longer just emissions intelligent platforms hopefully you got a clear idea about software defined vehicle and if you like it please share it with your friends thank you so much have a nice day